Hi, and welcome to Velf Creations. Have you tried engraving a photo on a shiny piece of metal with your X-Tool laser engraver? It looks great, right? Until the lighting changes and then it looks like an X-ray from your doctor. Let's see if we can fix that. Hey everyone, before we dive in, I just wanted to let you know this is an experiment we've been working on. We're putting this method out there to get your feedback and ideas on how we can improve it. So, we won't be going into all the nitty-gritty details about the settings just yet. We're sharing the concept with the hope of making a final detailed video later on. Let's jump to our computer and get started. We will begin in Canva. This step is optional, but for our image, we would like to remove the background and find that Canva does a really nice job with this. We will get our image imported and resized to fill our canvas. Now we can click on the image, select Edit Image, and then BG Remover. And after a few seconds, we have a perfect image for engraving. Next, we will crop it and resize once more just to fill the entire canvas. Once we are happy with the result, we can click on Share, Download Image. Here we like to increase the image size, use a PNG, and also check the box to remove the background. If you are a Mac user, you can also right-click on your image, then click Quick Actions and Remove Background. However, results may vary and we tend to get better images with Canva or Photoshop. There are also some free tools online that you can find as well. Now let's head to Xtool Creative Space. For this example, we will be engraving a 18 karat gold-plated pendant. So we will resize the image to fit our work area. Next, we will add a circle. We will use this circle to mask the image so it fits perfectly on our piece. To do this, simply position the circle above your image. Select both the circle and image, right-click, and select, create mask, or select it from the right side. Now just click Done. Great. Next, we will select the image, click on Adjustments, and update these settings. We typically adjust the grayscale slider to add more contrast. Once we are happy with the result, we can click on Invert Image. This is very important. We will be using the Xtool F1, and our next step is to add the parameters. We will select the IR laser and Jarvis for the bitmap mode. Dot duration will be 150, power will be 100%, and DPI is 800. These settings may not work for everyone, but your goal is to have a bright white engraving. So some testing may be required with your specific piece. Okay, let's get this set up and engraving. We like to use a black business card to protect our F1 base from accidentally being engraved. Oftentimes when images are engraving, the highlights don't get engraved at all, which means that at certain angles, people's faces and other details might reflect in a weird way and create that X-ray effect that we mentioned in the beginning of the video. By inverting this first pass and setting the settings to engrave white, we are creating a matte highlight that won't reflect any light. This will produce an image that is visible at different angles. We also like to drop the power to 60% and do one more pass to make it even brighter. Okay, now back to XCS. We want to click on our image and disable the Invert Image option. For this pass, we want to do a dark engraving, so we will set dot duration to 2500 and power back to 100%. And click Start. Now this will go through and engrave all the dark shadows of the image. This is where we can use your help. Have you engraved photos on shiny metal, whether gold or stainless steel? What settings have worked for you? The first layer we were able to get a pretty consistent white, but can work a bit on our darker engravings, so any insight from you guys would be very helpful. Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to Velf Creations to see more. We love testing and experimenting on different materials, so let us know what you want to see next. Also, follow us on social media, where we post shorts of different materials and settings to help you get started with the Xtool F1, F1 Ultra, and more lasers to come. We also want to focus a bit more on laser project ideas and methods that can be applied to any laser that you may have, so if there is something you would like to see, let us know. Also, just to let everyone know, we will be taking a little break in the month of August, but have some shorts pre-recorded, so content will still be available. While we are away, we would also like to put together a little Q&A video about VELF creations, lasers, or anything else that you may have a question about. Ask us in the comments and social media, and we will choose a few to post about. Okay, now back to the project. 
Now that it is down, we will wipe of any residue and see how this compares to the typical method of just engraving using dark settings directly onto the piece. This is the result. We could work on the settings a bit more to get the dark areas even darker, but as you can see the highlights show up a nice bright white, and as we move it between being in the light and being in the shadow, there is no difference in appearance. Here we also have just a regular dark engraving directly onto the piece, and although it looks really great in some angles, it gets that x-ray effect when it is in shadow. What do you guys think? Is this something that has potential? Or do you prefer the old way of doing these engravings? We also wanted to try this on the Ultra with stainless, but only had a few stainless steel keychains left. We couldn't test different settings on multiple pieces to compare, so we just started at a very low power and worked our way up. To eventually start seeing some white on the metal with the first layer. Then we pushed it a bit too far. But the best advice we always give new users is to not move the piece once it is done engraving. You can always readjust your settings and rerun the engraving to fix any mistake you have made. So we reduced the power one more time and got a result that we liked for the first base layer. Then, we bumped up the power and dot duration to get the second layer with a darker engraving. This ended up being pretty light, but with this being the first stainless keychain using the X-Tool F1 Ultra, we are, are happy with the result. We also gave this a quick wipe with some rubbing alcohol and a rag. Stainless steel photo engravings were always something that we avoided simply because of the X-ray look. No matter what settings we tried, we were never happy with the result. But now that we know there is a method to fix this, we will try to work on it a bit more and hopefully have better results in future videos. Here is the final result. No more X-ray look with the stainless as well. But the contrast can definitely be improved. Next time we try, we will attempt increasing the dot duration to around 300 to 400. We also created one with our cat, Checo. Typically, we use Jarvis for the bitmap mode. But have you guys had better experience with the other methods? Let us know, and thank you for watching. Stay creative.